my name is Laura and welcome to my channel. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to make crackers. And these crackers are going to be made out of groats. These are raw vegan crackers. So I have the groats right here, which have been soaking for about six hours. They need to soak for at least three hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drain these groats out and you want to make sure that you rinse them in water very, very well. So you get all the groats out, rinse them out real good. And you always make sure when you rinse these that you don't want to see any bubbles anymore. You want to completely rinse. Rinse them very, very well. Okay, drain them out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these into my Vitamix. So I'm throwing the groats in the Vitamix. And this is one cup of groats. If you want to make a lot of crackers, you need to use two or maybe even three, three cups or so. I like to make things just a little bit at a time. I don't like to make a lot at one time. And what I usually do with these is I like to cut them up and put them in my salads. I could use them kind of as croutons or I can just put some avocado on them. And they're really, really delicious. They're one of my favorite things. So what I'm going to add to these groats is I'm going to add some zucchini and that's going to put some water into it. Very simple, just some zucchini. And I usually like to put, these are, this is a raw sauerkraut. And I just put a little teaspoon of it, not a lot, just to give it kind of a little bit of salt. And it kind of makes it probiotic too. So, I'm going to turn on the Vitamix. And what I like to do is add some almond butter. Now, some people may do this at the same time, but I don't like to because it gets, it ends up getting real sticky inside. And sometimes I end up putting it in first and it doesn't turn out right. So, and it gets stuck on the bottom and all that. So what I like to do is get it mixed up first and then I put in the almond butter and then I'm going to just mix this up. Okay, so now going to show you what this looks like. It's just like real batter. Just like a real batter mix. Looks like something that you'd make cookies or something with. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay this out onto a sheet. Okay, so I'm going to pour the batter onto the dehydrator sheet. And you always make sure that you put it on one of these silicone sheets and that's probably enough for one and I always use an offset spatula 
Without an offset spatula, I would not be able to do this. I really have to have my offset spatula. But I just go ahead and I lay this out just like you were making a pancake or something like that, except it's much better for you than pancakes. These are live foods and they are not full of preservatives and horrible things that you get like the crackers you get in a store. So I just keep laying it out as so and sort of take the ends just like you want it to be as as neat as possible on those ends. I really enjoy these crackers. I have tried a lot of crackers and you know I've made them with the chia seeds, flax seeds, all different kinds of crackers that I've made but I have yet to make a cracker that tastes as good as this groat cracker does. These really get crunchy and they have such a good flavor because I add stuff to it. make sure that it's as smooth as possible and this is a perfect texture you don't want it to be too runny but you don't want it to be too thick and you want to lay it out to where it's not too thin but it's not too thick and this is I think gonna be just right so I'm going to add stuff to this and what I love to add is I cannot have it without cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. I use that in a lot of stuff, but it's great on these crackers too. So I sprinkle some cayenne pepper. And I'm going to put some black sesame seeds. These are organic black sesame seeds. Some of those on there. And these are organic white sesame seeds. Throw some of those on. This is Celtic sea salt. I prefer the, the one that's not so much, um, so not so fine, that it's a little bit grainier because a little bit goes a very long ways with these. And then I'm gonna add some, uh, this is Italian seasoning. I always like to use either basil or oregano or something like that. So I like the Italian seasoning because it kind of has a mixture of a lot of those little spices put together without having to use so many different ones. And so this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to stick that into the dehydrator. Okay, so now that the crackers are ready, I'm going to take them out of the dehydrator. They have been in there for three hours and I left them on at 117 degrees. So this is what it's going to look like. And what you're gonna need to do is put it onto this mesh sheet. So what I'm going to do is take the mesh sheet on top of the silicone sheet and you just flip it around and 
you very carefully pull this off. Now usually with these groat crackers, I don't have any trouble like I do with some other recipes. They usually peel off perfectly, and this one did. So what you're gonna do then is you're going to score them. And I usually use something like a pizza cutter, and I take about three fingers and I cut down this way, three fingers and down. And then turn it this way, three fingers down. And now this is gonna go back into the dehydrator and it's been in there for three hours. So now it only needs about maybe another hour, hour and a half. You can leave it in another two hours. Now when I first put these in, I stick them in for the first hour at about 121, and then I turn it down to 117. And that's just enough to kind of get them started because you do kind of want them to be crunchy. So I'm just gonna stick those back into the dehydrator. And I'll be back in two hours. Now the moment we've been waiting for, it's time to take my groats crackers out of the dehydrator. So, these are what the crackers look like. And you can see the sesame seeds and different things on there. Mmm. Delicious. These are by far the best crackers out of all the crackers that I make, I love the groat crackers. And groat crackers are so good for you. There's nothing bad in groats. And they have a lot of protein and a lot of other good things for you. So these crackers are great for anything, for a snack. You can use them in a salad. Tonight what I did, and this is what I do a lot of times and what I like to do, is I put together a little plate and it has some carrot, some avocado, and some clover sprouts. And I will just go ahead and put together a little meal out of this. And then I'll just use the crackers for a lot of times I, I put them in my salads, I use them um, for cr croutons, and it, they're absolutely delicious. They're crunchy, they have just a little bit of salt, that little bit of cayenne pepper. You can taste the sesame seeds and the black sesame seeds, and they're just really, really good for you. There's nothing bad in this. Mm. You know what it actually reminds me of is an everything bagel. You know, the bagels that have everything on it bagels? They really put me in the mind of that, but they are so much better for you. So I'm going to just close with that, and I'm going to read this out of John chapter 4, verse 8. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And I really hope that you like this re recipe. And if you did like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.